Facing fierce criticism of his handling of the border crisis, President Biden tonight unveiling new executive action. This action will help us gain control of our border. The executive order will bar many migrants who cross the border illegally from requesting asylum when illegal crossings are over 2,500 per day, like they have been for the past three years. The restrictions last until they dip below 1,500 per day. If they choose to come without permission and against the law, they'll be restricted from receiving asylum and staying in the United States. It's 3.30 p.m. in Hidalgo, Texas, and this bus is transporting migrants who just came through the border wall. They'll be able to claim asylum, but those who cross after midnight will not. But there are exceptions to the restrictions, including unaccompanied children. Plus, migrants can still request asylum at ports of entry. Today's move comes after a record. Nearly 10 million migrants have crossed into the U.S. since President Biden took office. Our recent poll shows just 28 percent of Americans approve of President Biden's handling of the border. Today, the president blaming Republicans for blocking a bipartisan border security bill. I've come here today to do what the Republicans in Congress refuse to do, take the necessary steps to secure our border. But Republicans say Biden sparked the crisis by reversing Trump border policies, blasting today's move as an election year stunt. He can close the border down entirely. He's not going to do that. He has no interest in doing that. They want it wide open. So this this weak measure here, don't be fooled. While some Democrats also slamming the president's action. It's not a time for us to turn to Trump era policies. It's not time to go and use the tools that Trump used. Today, we met a Venezuelan family who entered at a port of entry this morning using the CBP-1 app created by the Biden administration to book appointments for asylum screenings. They said they slept on the streets in Mexico while waiting. How long were you waiting? Seven months and six days, he tells us, saying he came to the U.S. to work to feed his young family. And Julia, we're already expecting legal challenges to this executive order. Yes, Lester, the ACLU is threatening to sue, saying this order prevents migrants from exercising their right to claim asylum. Meanwhile, Border Patrol agents I've talked to say they're worried about a logjam when migrants who cannot claim asylum cannot be deported fast enough. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.